guys. It's a lovely sunny day today. I'm with Al and Ellie. Hello Ellie. In the back. And we're going to look at something really, really interesting. Very, very old. Come with us. Okay, we've come to the place we're coming to, but the <laughs> nowhere to park. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Nowhere to park. Um, so what we're going to try and do is, hmm, I'm sure, I'm sure they hopefully won't mind. I don't think there's anyone living there. So we are in Crowhurst, ladies and gentlemen. Crowhurst. Now we are here for the church, but we're also here for something quite interesting. Well, I think it is anyway. I'll let Ellie open the door. Thank you, ma'am. As we come into the churchyard, we have the oldest yew tree in the country. Let's have a look. This is supposed to be between 1500 and they've dated it also up to 4,000 years old. I don't think it is 4,000 years old, but it's here before the church. Absolutely extraordinary. Incredible. Now, what's really nice about this one, have you seen this? <laughs> this little door is fantastic. Although you can actually get in there if you want to. Good look inside. Wow. So this could have been a meeting point, uh, could have been a sacred site for uh, pagan worship well before the church was here. church was built in the 1100s. Um, so obviously the, the even if this was built 1500 years ago, still before the church was built. So it could have been a sa you know, from Saxon times, but they say it's 4,000 years old. Another little story, during the Civil War, a cannonball lodged itself in the tree, an actual yeah. cannonball. a plaque here. The Tree Council in celebration of the Golden Jubilee of Queen and Majesty Queen Elizabeth II um, and it designated the Crowhurst Yew one of 50 great British trees in recognition of its place in the National Heritage June 2002. I mean what a girth. What a really wide girth. Let's love this door. I'm gonna go and see if the little people are here. I come in. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how long that's been. I think that was put there in, in the 1800s. I could be wrong. If people do know, let me know. Yeah, wow. Sure it's got a little bit of a supporting hand. <laughs> it's a lovely day. Let's go and see what's um, around the church. Come out into the churchyard and you've got this beautiful view. Beautiful view. Actually, you can go, you can go through. We are in Surrey at the moment, but Kent's just over there, East Sussex, so we're right on the border of three counties. Yeah. Lovely. Hot day. of firewood. Richard Vogue's a bald explorer, he'd like some of that for his essay. Lovely St George's Church. Lovely stained glass. Lovely. Lovely setting, absolutely gorgeous setting. 
The earliest mention of Crowhurst is about 722 AD, so um, going back to Saxon times. Although the earliest mention of the tree is sort of 1600s. I'm sure it's a well-known spot for thousands of years. Now, what was the question you just asked me? That was quite interesting. How do they know it's 4,000 mm. years old? Are there any tree surgeons watching or can comment uh, in the comments below how they... I know we know about rings and the girth of the tree, but how do they actually know that it's 4,000 years old? Because you wouldn't get the rings if it's rotted away yeah. inside, so... Lovely. Oh, it's a lovely old manor house across, across the way. So there you go. Quick uh, jaunt into Crowhurst to look at the yew tree. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Any, any comments, uh, please let us know. It's always interesting to find out more information. And on this gloriously beautiful day, with that gorgeous church behind us, we'll see you next time. Take care.